Oh my gosh. This is so scary. Because if I let her just run and try to hold her back. You gotta just go in. Just come in. Oh my gosh. Alright, Stella, look, 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 look. We're gonna give you food. Settle down, girl. Stella definitely hates the stand, so she's gonna be a really fun one to milk. She looks a little bigger. She does look a Don't little bit bigger. Yeah. She has so much fat under there. I know. It's hard to find these. When a goat is about to deliver, they lose the little ligaments on the side of their tail. They become really squishy and their udder gets really big. So that's what we're looking for. We haven't seen that yet. And so we just wait. Right here, we're gonna see if we can feel. I feel it. Feel any bobbies? We're gonna feel them move here. It's okay, Stella. Oh, there's one right there. I think. Really? Uh-huh. Wow. Although Stella was due on January 5th, that was for 145 days post breeding. So it was a little bit early of a prediction because Stella is a mini Nubian, which means she's half Nubian, half Nigerian dwarf. So I kind of estimated early, and even though she's past that, she could be like a Nubian that goes longer. So uh, we're not really sure which one she's gonna be. So far, we know that her breeding habits are like a Nubian. She only is able to be bred in the fall. So maybe her delivery habits are like a Nubian as well. And she's gonna go more like 150 days or 155 days. So no babies yet, but if I was gonna make a guess, I think it will be sometime this week for sure. Let's see, by the size <laughs> is one week. One. I think I don't think she'll go like 155 days, but I think she'll make it to 150 days. Probably. Yeah, like middle of this yeah, week. Yeah. yeah, maybe. All right, Stella. It's not like you need any more food. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let her out. Go see your mom. Oh. Okay, I thought I would show you guys what I have in my little birthing kit here. It's been a development over years of helping goats deliver babies, and I think I pretty much have everything that I could possibly need, so I'll show you. Because I'm such a crazy organizer, I also had to organize this into levels. Level one, level two, level three, level four. Okay, so we've got beginning stuff, little chucks pads to help absorb things and just some little lubricant and the thermometer. That's just kind of like, that's simple. Now we get to delivery portion. We've got some gloves if I need to check her. I've also got really long gloves that go all the way up to like my elbow. Um, I haven't put those in here yet, but that's what I would add to this. And then once they're delivered, we've got to clean out their noses, clip off their little umbilical cords and disinfect their umbilical cords. So that's like kind of step two. <laughs> and then step three is just if anything goes wrong with the goat where they need some kind of nutritional support. This is just a good overall supplement that helps give them a little different vitamins and minerals. This one I would usually give after they deliver just as a little boost. But this guy, this is just calcium. This is gonna be if I notice that their labor is stalling and I need to just move things along, maybe help their contractions a little bit. And then I've also got a little bit of selenium paste if there's a weak kid, a little colostrum oral gel. I don't usually use this, but I keep it on hand. It's another thing that I'll give if I see a weak kid, but usually the, you know, the mom has colostrum, so don't have to worry about that. Last thing is this cayenne pepper. This can help really wake up a weak kid, so it, it kind of brightens them up and gives them a little bit of energy to be able to start suckling and getting some colostrum in them. So that's kind of like emergency-ish stuff. Now this is for real emergencies. This, I've got my book here that I don't really um, follow for everything except for delivery. Let me show you. So for kidding, it's really helpful when I need to look at this chart here and remember what's okay, what's not okay. What's gonna be a more difficult way for them to deliver. A lot of times when there's just one leg coming out, they can have a lot of difficulty. They can still push them out, but it makes it a lot harder. And so most of the time you gotta go in there and, and pull the second leg out. Breach is fine. The head back is a big no-no. 
this is even more difficult. So this helps like refresh my memory. Okay, what's the right positioning? And when I do need to go in and feel, then I can be like, oh, I think I feel it like this or like that. And then I've got two more things. The vet told me about this lubricant that is a powder but when it's mixed with water it gets super super slimy and easy to go in there and pull a kit out so i always keep this on hand but notice it's taped i've never really had to use it and then i've got a kid puller and this is if we've got a really bad situation and i need to put this around a kid and pull it out so that's another kind of emergency thing finally i've got a tube feeder and this is if i need to tube feed a baby goat which is like an absolute last case scenario. So uh, there you have it. That's very basic. I have a couple other things that I add to it, like a flashlight if I need it, or a bunch of towels on hand. But I actually have a checklist on my blog, so I'll go ahead and put that link below in the description, and if you wanna print that out. If you're delivering goats soon, this is definitely a good thing to have on hand just in case. Although this year we had a couple crazy deliveries that I had to end up calling the vet for, most of the time I'm just using the gloves, the stuff to clean off their umbilical cords, and that's pretty much it. I'm excited. I'm prepared. We're ready. Now I just gotta wait for Stella to deliver. I have to give a big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring our dinner tonight the last thing I wanted to think about. And it's nice because since last summer I had the kids make HelloFresh dinners for us every week, they got really used to it and they're always up for the challenge. This time Ethan's gonna be the main chef and Kevin's gonna be the sous chef. So hopefully everything works out <laughs> just fine. Tonight's dinner is gonna be buffalo spiced chicken breasts and there's gonna be mashed potatoes and broccoli with it so it's gonna be a good one. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of that recipe rut. It helps cut out stressful meal planning and the prepping so you can enjoy cooking and getting dinner on the table in just like 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. The packaging they use to ship your food is made up of almost entirely recyclable content so it makes you feel a little bit better about purchasing something and having it shipped to your house. The best part, I think, is that you can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and you can skip a week whenever you want. A cool thing about HelloFresh is that they donated over 2.5 million meals to charity in 2019 and this year they're stepping it up even more with their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis. I have to say guys, it is really nice to have a HelloFresh meal waiting for us in the fridge. That way, if life gets crazy, all we have to do is pull it out of the fridge and cook it in like 30 minutes. So I'm definitely a big fan of HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code 10 weedum to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. Hey, buddy. All right. You ready go. for your appointment? Oh, don't get smell on me. <laughs> Look, matches your collar. Okay. okay. Come on. Nope, not you, buddy. He's always motivated to go this way. <laughs> and they all run. Come on, Mr. Winston. Watch out, Luna. Your boyfriend, your boyfriend. Your oh. boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> She's all, mm. All right. Oh, it looks a lot better, yeah, guys. It looks a lot better. Wow. It doesn't look irritating Yay. at all. I was worried about it. Your dress works. <laughs> it works. Can you make sure it's not too tight as I'm putting stuff on? Yeah, I just, that's good. Okay, I just worry that it's gonna bug him. Oh, look at that, Mr. Winston. Da, 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 da. Wow, I'm surprised at how quickly that healed. Wow. Okay. I think he's peeing right here instead. Oh, don't it, touch it then. <laughs> his beautiful mane because oh. it's like it doesn't even need hairspray. It just stays perfectly in the mane. Are you all better now, Winston? All right, watch out, ladies. Here he comes. Watch out, Luna. She's like, oh, no, no. <laughs> don't come in. He misses oh. him. 
He gets so upset when Winston leaves. It's like my friend. Open up my heart and you'll find love. You're so pretty, Luna. Did you know that? You can't come in because we're, I don't know if you remember, but we're not milking you anymore. <laughs> we're not, okay? I'll give you a treat though, just a quick little treat. I know last time you didn't like this, but the first time you ate it, you liked it. Oh, we like it today, guys. Do you want one too, Winnie? This is the easiest way to feed them because there you go, there you go, Winnie. Stella, do you want one too? Hurry. Oh, Luna wants another one, guys. All right, that's enough for now. Ooh, you're gonna hurt your leg. Ooh, I can give, I can give Tilly hers through the fence because she knows how to get through the fence. Oh, good job. Let's see, Tatum, do you know how to do it like your mom? Come here, Tatum. Oh, Tilly, don't. Oh, Luna, don't be mean over just a nut. Go fast, go fast, go fast, go fast. Got it. Oh, she dropped it. Get it, get it before they, before they see her. Oh my goodness, we weren't lazy. <laughs> Tatum wants it, but kind of doesn't want it. Oh, go, go Tatum, Tatum, go fast. Oh, Tilly's gonna eat it. Go Tatum. <laughs> Tilly's too good. Tilly gets it because she's pregnant. All right, Luna, you get one more, but you have to promise don't be mean anymore, okay? Okay. Oh, little ferns back there and willows nowhere to be found. Let's go find them and do that too. Okay, Fern, you gotta go fast. You gotta go fast. There you go. You gotta go fast if you want it. They're gonna come over here. Go fast. Go fast. There you go. You're so sweet. I love you. I made Kevin hold the bag for me. <laughs> and they're all just over here thinking he's gonna give it to him. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you wanna watch the videos of all of the births on our farm as we wait for Stella's birth, hopefully in the next few days here, uh, go ahead and click here. It's kind of fun, there's lots of crazy things going on. Hopefully Stella's is nice and smooth and no problems at all.